Wow. Holy crap. This is a board game that's anything but boring. This marks some kind of revolution of games in which the outcome of the dice didn't matter so much as whether or not you get killed by a rolling fireball. Oh! Oh! Instead of a flat board with blank spaces, Fireball Island was upraised and painted to create a treacherous landscape. Look at all the detail going on here. There's skeletons laying on the shore just to remind you the fate of the past explorers. This is the place of your nightmares. In the middle of it all, the fire-breathing idol of Volcar, the most fearsome centerpiece to any board game I ever saw. It goes well with all your action figures. Couldn't you see this thing sitting next to Castle Grayskull or teaming up with the Inhumanoids? I love the picture on the back of the box. Isn't that how the game should be played on a beach like that? That's awesome! It sure gets an A-plus for presentation, but that's just the beginning. Your imagination takes over the rest. The goal is to get the Firestone Jewel, which unfortunately is sitting right next to Volcar. The adventure starts at Dead Man's Plateau and across the Witchlord Trail. Whenever you roll a 1, it's fireball time. Get hit by one of these, you lose a turn and end up at the nearest smolder pit. And yep, you're supposed to lay the piece on its side. That's important. You can take your chances with the caves. Some might lead to a shortcut, and others, not. Pass the Witchlord Ruin, get the Magic Charm token, trade in for a full hand of cards, get past Thunder Alley, Skeleton Head Beach, Blister Run, Fire Flash Shoot, steal the jewel, and then it's a race back to the boat with every player trying to take the jewel from each other. You go over the bridge, down Viper Pass, then you make it back to the dock where you face your final and toughest pitfall of all, getting on the boat. Why is it so small? If you can get your hands on this game, gather some friends and give it a try. It's not easy to find the complete game intact. I don't have all the pieces, here one of the bridges is missing, and I think it's a law of nature that any game that has balls flying around, the balls will get lost. So I borrowed these from Weapons and Warriors. It doesn't matter, use some marbles or whatever you can find. Fireball Island, a game anybody can play as long as you've got some balls. <laughs>